Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you a homemade, delicious green bean casserole, perfect for Thanksgiving. I've had a lot of people request I make this recipe because if you know me, you know I don't use cream of mushroom, cream of anything. So I always make this exactly like this from scratch. I think it tastes 10 times better. I just am not a fan of those canned stuff. I don't know what's in it. I don't want to know. Fresh is always best. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You'll need some fresh green beans. I've also got some sliced mushrooms. I'm using cremini. I've got some bacon, onion. I've got some butter, heavy cream, flour, garlic, fresh thyme, some parmigiano, chicken stock, salt, and pepper. You might need the addition of a little bit of olive oil, but we will see about that. Now, the first thing I did was I took a big saucepan and it's, I filled it with water, put in a generous sprinkling of salt because we are going to blanch our green beans. But before we do that, I've got a large skillet here with high sides and that's really important because we are going to add in our bacon. And I'm going to let that get really nice and crispy and render out its fat. My water is up to a boil, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my green beans to my salted boiling water, cook them for two minutes, drain them, rinse them with cold water to stop them from cooking, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okie dokie. Now, as you can see, my bacon rendered out quite a bit of fat, and I really don't want that, so I'm going to just scoop it out and leave just a couple teaspoons left behind because I want to cook my veggies in some butter. Everything's better with butter. And now what I also have done is, like I mentioned, blanched my green beans, and those are ready. I'm not even going to wait for that to melt all the way because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to add in my onions. I have this over medium high heat. My garlic. This is going to have a fantastic flavor. You are not going to miss that canned stuff, even in the slightest. You're going to have to trust me on this. And a touch of salt and pepper to draw out the water in the mushrooms and help these things, this cook faster and season every layer of the dish. Okay, cook this together over medium high heat for about four to seven minutes, really depends, or until these veggies have cooked down a bit and released a little bit of their, um, and you know, have released some of their natural juices. I'm just excited because honestly, one of the things I absolutely love about Laura in the kitchen and sharing recipes with you, especially around the holiday season, is the fact that I get to have holidays you know, I feel like I get to have holidays over and over again because obviously it's not Thanksgiving yet, but I'm making a Thanksgiving um, side dish and this is something my husband Joe is really excited about when holiday season comes around because aside from actually filming it for you, I also test them all the time and just to get them perfected and he is like a kid in a candy store because he loves um, like holiday food, so we're excited around here. I'm going to just add some thyme and then my flour. I'm just going to coat my mushroom with the flour. I'm just going to cook this for about a minute or so, stirring constantly until I can no longer see raw flour. Because if you don't do that, you'll end up with a raw flour taste in the, back, in the background of your final dish. And nobody likes that. How gorgeous is this going to be? You will see. And it's going to taste absolutely fantastic and if you bring a homemade green bean casserole topped with homemade french fried onions you will be a rock star i'm telling you because it's there's something so incredible about making something like green bean casserole which is a favorite a must-have around thanksgiving making it from scratch is just elevated to another level okay enough chatting this is looking good. I'm going to add in my stock. And for me, it's just water with this bouillon paste. Let me grab my little spoon. I keep forgetting my spoons nowadays. Must be my old age. I say that because my nonna says that all the time. And no matter what it is, too. Oh, I forgot to buy toilet paper. Must be my old age. All right, I'm going to let this cook on medium heat for about five to seven minutes or until it's thickened. Now we'll move on to the last and pretty much final step. Look how thick that is. It's gorgeous. We're going to add in a touch of heavy cream, give that a good stir. I'm going to add my green beans now. Now, at this point, you don't need to season this anymore because you seasoned your vegetables. The water you cooked your green beans in was seasoned. You just don't want to go crazy with the seasoning. So go ahead and give this a really good stir. 
I want to make sure everything is really well coated. I'm also going to add back in the crispy bacon. That really adds like a salty, smoky, delicious layer that I think um, really can't beat. So give this a good stir. Cook this all together for a good three to four minutes. Now I've turned my heat down to low because I don't want this to really reduce much further. So do that. And now, actually, while that's kind of hanging out, I'm going to take my parmigiano and a grater, and I'm going to grate in a good amount of that. Now, if you think this sounds odd, you're going to have to give it a try. It is delicious. It's salty, it's cheesy, it's nutty, it's perfection. Also, I'd like to point out that this, isn't, this is it. We're not going to bake this into the oven because one of the things about green bean casserole, to me, one of the downsides is that sometimes, so often, the green beans are so mushy and most some people use them right out of a can and I want to keep that crispy freshness, deliciousness that the green beans have instead of cooking them to death, which is why we blanch them and then we just cook them together with our mushroom sauce. So I'm just going to cook this for a few minutes, giving it a stir and we'll be ready to plate up. Oh, time to get this in a lovely platter. Oh, this is going to be phenomenal. Look at those fresh mushrooms. Look at all that gorgeousness. And it smells outrageously good in here. And then the pièce de résistance. I'm so not good <laughs> at doing accents. Don't you make fun of me? I'm trying to <laughs> get rid of the steam here. I'm going to top this with homemade french fried onions. I mean, you went ahead and made everything homemade as is. Why not make homemade french fried onions? It is a holiday season after all. You're going to want to indulge. You're going to want to make things a little bit special, or at least I do. I'm going to grab a little bit from right back here so I don't, because I, I am serving this to guests tonight. I don't want to mess that up and become a, make a mess. And as you can see, we have enjoyed quite a few of the french fried onions already because that plate was filled. Let's give this a go. I can't take it. Mm. If there's any justice in, this wor in the world, you will be eternally grateful for this recipe because it is outstanding and takes green bean casserole to a whole new level. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com to get this recipe. I hope that you make it for your family and your loved ones. And I hope that you post pictures on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram of any dishes that you have made, any of my recipes that you have made for your holiday table. I will be incredibly honored and I will feel like I am part of your holiday table with you. Hope you enjoy spending time with me, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.